I'm Gordon McInnes and I work here at Carolina Beach Counseling in Carolina Beach, North Carolina. And today we're going to talk about recognizing the symptoms of anxiety. Clinical anxiety and generalized anxiety disorder are, the hallmarks are excessive worry and, and anxiety. Uh, now you can have that with or without panic attacks. Uh, a lot of times people do have panic attacks which include things like um, feeling overly stressed, uh, sweaty palms, increase in breathing, uh, maybe even hyperventilation, sensation of choking, feeling all tense, nervous, anxious, feeling like you're going to pass out. Um, sometimes they feel like they're losing their mind and going crazy, that kind of thing. Um, so those are some of the symptoms of panic, panic disorder or um, generalized anxiety with panic. Um, some of the other things that come along with panic disorder, again, are an excessive worry, but it has to be for a duration of at least six months. Um, like I said before, it's not just over a week period of time because you're worried or anxious about some specific thing. It's, it doesn't necessarily have a specific cause or a specific reason. They seem to kind of come out of the blue. Uh, usually interferes with sleep um, and can interfere with daily activities such as work family relations, that kind of thing. It's pretty easy because it's a subjective feeling of feeling anxious and nervous. It's, um, and it's more so than, it, like I said, it's disturbing. It's, it's impacting their ability to function on a daily basis. Uh, a lot of times people can't go to work, uh, they have problems driving, and sometimes it can even get to the point of what's called agoraphobia, which technically is the, the fear of open spaces, but what ends up happening is people's world closes in on them so they they don't feel like they can go to um, the other side of town and then they don't feel like they can go to the store next to them and then they don't feel like they can leave their house or their yard and then they don't feel like they can leave their living room or bedroom and it just closes in and they become more and more panic stricken and, and people do a lot of things to avoid having a panic attack or these anxiety symptoms uh, which again keeps them closed in and not moving anywhere. That was just some advice on some various topics related to anxiety. Uh, as always, you should go seek professional help or go see your doctor uh, if these things are continuing to bother you.